What's up guys? We're back to Madeira after a year of absence and many things changed during this time. Some of the popular spots got closed, many new ones opened, there is a new tourism tax and some of the popular hiking trails are now uh, request payments. So today we will explore some of the places we liked, some of the new ones we haven't visited yet and it will be a really cool day traveling around Madeira and we'll take you with us along the way. For our first stop, we'll take Miradoro do Guindaste. It's a very cool viewpoint and let's see what's new over there. Hey. So this is the first thing which I see changed before. You could just go over there and see the whole viewpoint, walk around, do whatever you want and now you can but we'll still go there and don't really mind. There's a police car standing over there, checking the whole situation, but pay attention to this. So I guess the rules are still kind of flexible, but well, rules are rules. And as we leave here, we're gonna obey them. It's actually one of my favorite viewpoints on Madeira. And it is a bit sad that we cannot go there, but I also can understand it's a bit dangerous. And when you're standing there on the you know, and it's a bit tricky. But I'm always stressed to fly the drone. I don't know why, but as long as I fly, this never passed. It will be actually the first proper flight for this drone since it got replaced by, by DJI. Just actually a month ago, we had an accident in the Dolomites and the drone just disappeared, didn't come back. And we contacted DJI and DJI stands behind their products and they just sent a new drone to us. Thank so, you, DJI. Yeah, shout out to DJI <laughs> and I hope this one will come back today. What I like about Madeira the most is that when you're coming to touristic places, they're not just tourists. They're also always local people like here, for example, just local family came fishing and it's so cool. The locals really enjoy the place they live. Yeah, and it's very nice to have such a mix because you feel like this place is actually special for everybody. So one place already seen. It's nice to be back, right? It's nice to be back. It's, it's very cool to drive around Madeira. Yeah. This didn't change. Always nice, doesn't matter what weather is in Madeira, you will just enjoy. True. We also have some small changes personally. Mm -hmm. So we moved to another place before we used to live in Caniso. It's a small little town just outside of Funchal. And now we moved to Porto da Cruz. And so far we really love it. It's very nice. We live in closer to the ocean and we can go to the beach and surfing every day. Yeah. It takes us just 10 minutes to get to the sea. Even less, I would say. Or even less. It's, it's, very, it's very cool. Yeah. Very nice place. So far we love it. We'll see how it's going to be. Yep. Let's keep going. Now we're heading towards the west. But we stay still in the north of Madeira. Uh, a viewpoint this time. A viewpoint which I don't know too well. I think I was there just one time. Hmm. It's next to Santana Cable Car. I think I've never been there. Okay, yeah, let's let's check it out. Let's, let's see check it out. Together. How does it look like? Seems like the cable car can take you down to those farm fields down below, but it doesn't seem like it's open. But there is a trail here, and I know this trail is hikeable. Seems like a nice idea to spend your afternoon hiking down to the ocean. Yeah, this place is very cool. Okay, so it was the second place for today. Rocha de Navio, next to Santana Cable Car. Very cool place to visit whenever you're here. It's a beautiful balcony viewpoint, and you can see amazing view of cliffs. There is one waterfall from one side, another smaller waterfall from another side. Yes, and you can see as far as Ponta de Saladens. Yes, we could see it. There are seven minutes to the next place, so where are we going? Yep, another place which we haven't visited yet, Queens of South George. Uh, we haven't been there because I never thought this is a very picturesque location to visit and we we just didn't, never found time for this, yeah. yeah. And now we're visiting every single place which we missed during the time we were here last time. And yeah, nothing's gonna be skipped this time. Mm -hmm. Also, because now we're going 
uh, to update our guide. We decided to visit more places and to see what places are good enough to put in our top locations in the guide. Yes, we still want to keep it very narrow so whoever gets the guide can see only the best spots, not every single one because it's just too much. Madrid is beautiful and there are lots of fantastic places mm -hmm. to visit, but come on, you have a week or two to stay on the island and you need to get the very best in a pill in a very short time. Yeah. That's what we do. Yeah. There are many guides out there which have many pages and people put a lot of work. I think it's very appreciated, but we want to put really the best places so you guys don't have to make research you just open and you think okay that's what's worth visiting and I'm coming there <laughs> yes and right now till we make the final update our guide is on a big discount 20% yeah. so if you're planning to visit Madeira this is the best time to get our guide yeah go to our website and check it and you will know more information about it there yeah we will put the link to the description yeah So all the places we visited are basically 10 minutes from each other, which is super convenient. As I'm just opening the map, choosing a pin, and stopping at every next stop. Using those maps is pretty convenient, and we have one also in our guide. So if you're planning to travel Madera same like we do, you can just open this map and start driving. This is how we do it. It's not yet 12 o'clock and we already visited three places and we're going to our fourth place. What is going to be, Carol? It will be another viewpoint overlooking the cliffs. It's 25 minutes away, so let's buckle up. It's gonna be a fun ride. Let's go! We just got to the actual north of Madeira. We in a viewpoint overlooking Ponta de Legada and the whole northern coast. The name of this viewpoint is Antenna, which I'm guessing is because of this red-white antenna. Views are very nice. We can see the whole town of Ponta de Legada. I have planned to visit two spots over there in this area. So I guess we up to this now. All right, we just got to our second spot, which I really wanted to visit for years, but I was just never sure if it was worth to drive for an hour only to get here to this cave, but I must say it looks pretty impressive from here. Madera is full of similar tunnels but this one is quite special because it's nicely framing the entire town of Ponta Delegada and that's why we're here to check how it is looking like. I think we will finish here and at this point we can have a very nice view overlooking Ponta Delegada and I guess we're heading back to find this hidden waterfall. That's gonna be exciting. The road up is quite steep <laughs> But it's the first time today when we need to actually put some effort into finding a place. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be well worth it. Huh? Very pretty. We found it. So after we visited the waterfall, we went to another direction and we found this sign. So we're going to go and check what's there. I don't think there's any point to go there. There's no water in the waterfall. So we are about uh, 
50 meters from it. This is another waterfall. Unfortunately, currently it's dry. That's sometimes happening on Madeira. Some of the waterfalls working only after rainfall and in summer they even totally dry out. And this is a very tiny one, so <laughs> this time we're unlucky. Welcome. But there are lots of mosquitoes here, so let's get out of here. Ah. Ah, so a lot of new places for today. We were just talking that I was thinking that never I was thinking that nothing would surprise me anymore in Madeira because we know so well all of the best locations on the island, but visiting those hidden spots, not so popular locations, it's so much fun. We had a blast today. All right, guys, we just finished sightseeing over the north and we had a fantastic lunch slash dinner in Sao Vincent. Now we're at the promenade watching the surfers, but basically we're done for today. It was so much fun to explore new places for us on Madeira and we're excited to explore this island further. It seems like it's getting only better. See you next time. See you in the next one. Ciao.